guys, in this video, all I want to do is give a point of view of driving a 2001 Ford Mustang GT. Um, now, I'm just going to do a short drive just so you can kind of see how driving the car looks. And uh, unless you actually get in and drive one, well, this is this is the next best thing, um, unless you can get in and, and drive one yourself. So this was the point of this video, because when I was looking to purchase a car like this, um, I saw some uh, point of view videos and I was like, you know, it might help someone out. I'm going to make my own. So one thing about this car is it is lowered. It's on uh, strange coilovers and I personally think that stock height, these cars look terrible. They look like you're gonna go off-roading, um, but when you lower them, then you gotta be very careful because it can get uh, can get very low. Uh, depend depending on how low you go, you can start scraping on things and then you're gonna have clearance issues and you don't wanna be that one person that's always uh, scraping on everything. shift it is it is absolutely a, a blast to drive and this car has headers and it has an exhaust so it sounds fantastic um, it wakes up all the neighbors so I don't I don't think they think it sounds fantastic um, but personally you know it, it's a great sounding car it's very fun uh, just a couple things about it um, other than the suspension um, when daily driving this car uh, gas mileage that's a question that gets asked a lot about these cars and uh, basically the gas mileage on these cars is terrible but it is a little bit irrelevant because who gets these cars for gas mileage you know if you're gonna buy one of these cars it's because you enjoy driving it and personally I don't drive it um, enough that it would actually make a difference not that I would care either way if I drove a lot but it wouldn't make a difference to me whether I, you know, drove 100 miles a day or 10 miles a day because it is a really fun car. I would still want to drive it. Now, as a daily driver, yes, this car is fun, but if you're going to be going on road trips or anything like that, any long, long uh, trips, just rent a minivan or something. Like, you're, you don't want to be uh, driving this car for, you know, six, seven, eight hours because you're going to be uncomfortable. I mean, it's an old car number one number two it's it's small like if you're higher bigger than uh, six feet tall uh, you're probably not gonna fit in this car just because of how uh, little headroom you have and how tight the uh, the cabin is but um, it's it's not a good road trip car so if you're gonna be like driving long distances like that either get yourself a minivan or you know maybe you want to look for another car but um, yeah as a daily driver it's fine you know my drive to work is maybe 20 minutes um, and it's it's perfectly fine no no uh, no problems whatsoever no complaints now this car specifically it has very very big tires on the back it has 315s um, I don't know what the car comes with stock but I'm sure it's like 225s or 245 something like that so it is very large tires on the back and um, that means that when it is raining you have to be extremely careful with this car because you will you, your back end will come out if you're not careful if you're not you know being very very careful with this car so anytime it's raining I am you know I have the utmost care and respect for this car because it will drive you into a wall because you it, it's very slippery you know with with uh, you know a lot of torque and uh, and slippery big fat tires in the rain like you're you're asking for trouble if you don't respect the car so one thing with these cars if you're driving in the rain which right now it's not summertime so it's not a huge deal here in Florida um, but once summertime comes around and there's like big downpours gotta drive extremely careful and extremely safe
music in this car, not bad at all. If you're gonna be, you know, in bumper to bumper traffic and, you know, stop and go traffic, it's gonna suck big time because you just, you just, uh, with, well, this car specifically, it has a heavy duty clutch and, you know, it's a leg workout. If you're gonna be putting the clutch in and out like that, you're gonna be getting a, a big workout and you're gonna get really annoyed really quickly. But, you know, highway traffic like this, pop it into fifth gear, you're cruising, not bad at all, not bad at all. For short trips, for short highway trips, it is it is perfectly doable. Like, on, as a daily driver, no, no problems at all. I was really scared when I got this car because the whole purpose of me getting this car was to learn how to drive stick shift, but, Getting an older car, this is a 21 year old car. Like this car is old enough to legally drink, to e legally buy alcohol. So it is an old car. I was a little bit scared regarding reliability and stuff like that and just usability, but it, it's been no problems at all. It, it is a champ and the 4.6 liter two valve, great engine, very reliable. So no issues whatsoever. Um, but regarding reliability, again, everything has been great. Um, the fun factor in this car is what really drew me into it. It is a fun, cheap, affordable car. I mean, other than gas, you know, gas prices right now are ridiculous. So if you don't count gas or if you don't drive a lot, then it's an affordable car. But you might have to, you know, look look at getting a loan if you, if you want to drive this car every day you know you're gonna be wasting a lot of gas but it is worth it I'll tell you that it is worth it because this is my daily driver and again I don't drive that much but it is it is fantastic this car specifically is tuned on 93 so even worse I have to put 93 octane in it and it's even more expensive so my uh, I, I uh, cringe a little bit every time I have to go to a gas pump and fill up because it is it is very pricey but it could be worse. We're in Florida. At least we don't have uh, California prices down here. Um, gas prices at least. So it is It is not as bad as some other places.
Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video there. Um, this is the uh, POV video of driving a 2001 Ford Mustang GT. Um, if you like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content. Um, let me know what you guys think. Do you have a Mustang or any stick shift car? And if so, is it reliable? Do you daily drive it or is it just a weekend car? Again, this is my daily driver. Um, we also have a, a Ford Mustang Mach-E, a 2021, but uh, my wife drives that one to work because she has a very long commute and I prefer the stick shift, uh, but I love this car as a daily driver. Again, not the most convenient, but if you really like stick shift cars and Mustangs, this is a really good choice. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below.